Hey guys, how's it going? It's Amanda. So we have been, as a family, spending a lot of time outdoors, exploring, camping, even some overlanding, and really I've been, for the last couple years, building an overlanding setup, and um, some of those things have just taken priority over tech, but I have some tech and some accessories that I have been using on these trips that I want to share with you. So the first thing is really just this awesome kit. It's a way to have running water right here in the back of my vehicle, even on top of a mountaintop, or just anywhere that you go that you find yourself camping or day tripping or outdoor at your barbecue, you could set this up to clean your vegetables or wash your dishes afterwards or tailgating, or even if you have something like an off-grid cabin, this would be perfect for you. So let's go ahead and take a look at what you get here. So there are two components to this and they do not come as a kit. You have the faucet and the jug and both of them are wonderful separately, but they're even better together. So the first component is the Dometic Go 11 liter water jug. And this is a fantastic rugged water jug. You can use it with a built in spigot. And for many people that will be perfectly enough. I think this retails around $70. I got it for Mother's Day gift, but I have been using it until I could get my hands on the faucet, but it's fully featured. It has the spigot up here. You have a little vent so you can change your water pressure to conserve it or get more flow if you need it. This cap has a lot going on. It has a built in quick connect, which uses like the camelback style hydration style quick connect. Um, this hose, at the top is not included. That comes with the faucet, but at the bottom, this hose is included. Nice long hose to reach the bottom. And it does have a little mesh filter in there to try to keep you from sucking up any type of sediment or anything yucky that may be in there. <laughs> and um, most of that is pertaining just to the faucet, but that is included with it, the bottom hose there with the mesh filter. So just as is, this jug is a fantastic water system. And if you don't wanna use the spigot, they do include a flat cap and these are Nalgene size, so very easy to find replacements. The jug is square and it sits nice and flat and it has built-in handles, which make it very easy to carry. But if you don't wanna carry it by that, there also is some very rugged carrying straps. And if you don't want the carrying straps, you can pull them out or you can even use those spots like to strap it down on a roof rack or inside your vehicle. And I've also found that um, the Camelback, I believe this is the Life Straw uh, filter, works with the same Quick Connect, so you can just attach it. Um, unfortunately, I can only figure out how to do it coming out, but um, you know, hey, you have it if you have an emergency and you need to filter some water, you just then can connect this to the back of your faucet. So let's talk about the faucet some. It has a magnetic base and it's really simple to set up and use as long as you have a magnetic surface. They do include two magnetic different plates. You just double tap it and you can have running water. You can see in the back there, you have a little light. So at nighttime you have some little ambient light and you just single tap it and it turns off. Now it includes two magnetic bases. Um, you can install them anywhere you want with the sticky mounts. I just go ahead and stick it to the bottom if I'm using it on something because it adds stability. Um, since it's an aluminum table, obviously it's not gonna stick. This does retail for $99. There's only two downsides. The hose could be a little longer because we don't always have the most optimal setups whenever we're out in the wild. And I wish it was USB-C because micro USB is dated and everything now I have, all these cords are all USB-C. Hate to have to drag another one along. Getting out and getting into nature can be really refreshing on you know your mind and spirit, but also it can get really dangerous if you're out with no cell phone signal for miles and miles away and no people for miles and miles away. And sometimes you know the elements can be really risky whenever you've not prepared correctly or something's just went wrong that changed just a normal situation. Or maybe you're even doing something that's a little bit crazier that you know has a potential to break something. And this little device is a GPS communicator. It's the Garmin InReach Mini 2, and it's. The way you can send out a message in an emergency or just to let someone know that you know you've made it to camp there's also an sos button here on the side so if you need to like send emergency help to you you can you know notify the officials so that they can find you um, there's other features like track back so that if you want to explore out and then you know be able to see your way back to where you were i know there's weather right here built in and then it also will connect to your phone so you can use the app to be able to do things that's harder to do on the screen like sending text messages and You've also got access to GPS maps, so you can use them if you need to figure out where you're at. I think you can even send out um, a link, people can follow you on there, or you can even just send out messages with your location. And there's really a lot of features packed into here. You can check out their website for all of them because I don't remember them all. I use it to send messages and be able to use that emergency SOS if needed. And you do have a subscription required, but I believe the cheapest one starts at $14.95 a month. 
Moving along, we have the Anchor Soundcore Motion Boom Plus. This is one of the best speakers in the two to three hundred dollar range, but it actually comes in at like one seventy nine. This has some absolutely amazing bass, which you can control with a bass button here. And right next to that, you'll see the Bluetooth connection button, and this has Bluetooth five point three, so it's got some of the latest Bluetooth technology. And on the far right, you have your multiple speaker connection, and it has PartyCast two point oh, which gives you some really good in sync quality audio. Now, if you notice my speaker is awfully dusty, I have been taking this everywhere with me. It's rated IP67 for waterproof and being dustproof. And this just has some really quality sound. It charges with USB-C. It also has an output so you can charge your other devices along with an aux input. It's got this nice handle on the top and even the strap that you can hang it with. The only downside I've ever heard from anybody on this is maybe the trouble can be a little harsh, but no worries. They have an EQ you can use right in the app to adjust that yourself. So if you're looking for an absolute killer speaker, this is definitely my go-to for this price point and even some higher price points, definitely check it out. So the last item is also out of my camp kitchen. I am a massive fan of cooking. I absolutely love doing it, but before I can even get started, I have to get me a fresh cup of coffee going. And the simplest, best way I found to do that is with the AeroPress Go. That is this little black cup with a red lid. It's all compact inside of here. You can just grab it and go. And I use the Java Vessel Grinder, which we're not gonna cover that necessarily today. But inside the cup, you can see this little disc with my paper filters. There is a stir stick beside that. You got your AeroPress itself, which will have how is it all to brew it and then you have your lid with a paper filter in it your cup and your lid so i will heat some water up out of my dometic go jug that i've shared with you guys today i will pour my ground coffee beans in there i do have a scale from barista but i'm gonna be real honest when i'm out there i kind of got it down to how much i need and i'm not gonna stress it it's gonna be a delicious cup of coffee <laughs> but this does make a single size coffee unless you're somebody who likes it really weak and you want to add a bunch of water this is just an individual serving, so some people do like the non-go version because it does brew a bigger cup, but hey, again, I'm just out here to enjoy it. I'll make another one if I have to. So heat your water up over a fire with your jet boil, whatever you want to do, and then you mix it in with your beans. It should steep around two minutes, and then after that you add your lid, which I can't do all of this and record since I don't have a tripod very well, but after that you will just manually with your hands press it through there, press it through that filter and it's going to catch all your grinds and keep them all in there and keep them out of your coffee and just give you some fresh espresso style coffee. After your joy, your cup of coffee, cleanup couldn't be any easier. You just take the lid off and press it out and all of your grounds along with that paper filter come out and you can just rinse this off and you're ready to go. So these are some of my favorite things I have been using lately. Leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions of items I should try out. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.